everybody, welcome to the channel. I am your host, Mr. J, and today, today we're going to be reviewing me. <laughs> that was really bad, Joker boys. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I am your host, Best Stroke. Yeah, yeah, not you, Mr. J. It's me, Mr. And, uh, and I am your host, Best Stroke. And today we're gonna review the Mayfix. Hush Joker? Batman Hush Joker? The Mayfax Hush Joker from the Batman Hush comic book line. Joker. Anyway, yes, today we're gonna look at Joker. And gotta say off the bat. Really good figure. In his own in his own rights. Uh think uh, a couple of things that are missing. Uh, as part of accessories, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But yeah, all in all, he's a really good figure. So let's get him down from the turning table stand and let's take a closer look at the Joker. Now here he is, the Prince of Crime himself, the Joker. Uh, and like I said earlier, he's a really good figure. He looks great with what? <laughs> he looks great with his other fellow Hush Mafex uh, figures. Uh, it's the Joker. I mean, just, wow! You know, he the coat looks nice. Let's get into it. The it's like a little, it's like a plastic material. It's like, a, like almost, almost like a coat. Pretty sure if you were to take off the arms, you can take off the coat, but why would you do that unless you're gonna put on a oh, unless you put on a custom coat, but uh I can it come out? It looks like it can. It's not Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think of that until right now, until doing this video. But why would you? This thing looks great on it. There's no need to do any type of customization uh, uh, except for getting just certain accessories. But <laughs> Other than, other than that, the face, can we get a good look at that face right there? Look at that. That's the Prince of Crime himself. He looks really good. Detail, his lapel, big old green tie, purple on this guy. Nice purple. He has different shades of purple. Like the Amazing Yamaguchi purple is a bit different, you know, but... You know, I like the pointy shoes that he's got. Look at that. We'll get to the... Uh, I'm showing off already the articulation as we're showing off. This guy. He looks great. He looks great. It's not, not... I think the only paint would probably be inside here. You know, because this is just the plastic. A little bit of shading right there in the crotch. Uh, by the knee. You know. But... Yeah, I think this guy's pretty durable. I think anything will be just scuff marks on him, but it's just plastic. I did like a whole plastic purple one. I don't, I don't think it's painted. It might be painted. I don't. I don't. Know. Maybe. Okay. The legs are probably painted. Crotch piece. The coat. I mean, obviously, but it's like it's, it's soft goods. It's a really soft, pliable plastic. The hands, the knife, the. Uh -huh. The green hair looks great. This guy is phenomenal Joker. I'll have my Batman figure out in a minute. You know, he looks really good with them. All right, so now let's take a look at his articulation. Uh, it's a bit different from other uh, Mayfix figures. So he does not have a bicep swivel, but he does, so I believe it's like in a ball. Right? Some kind of joint, yeah, that just goes in from here to here. Possibly ball peg. Uh, but it makes it turn. So it makes it like a uh, bicep swivel. So, well, not really, it's just the arms. You know, they go up and around. Double jointed joint here. You only get up about that much. Uh, same type of Mafex wrist, as you can see. Um. The head is, you know, that L ball, like all the other Mafex. 
You know, bam. Well, I love this. Look how you get, you can make you can make the Joker look crazy looking, doing those little side tilts. Yeah, he can look up, not that far, but and then not that much down because of his big old chin. But you know, he's got an ab crunch as you can see right here. So he could do a nice crunch, a little bit backwards crunch, little, little you know. Well, well, too much because then you'll probably expose, you know. So it's got a nice, you know. Uh, everything's all ball, ball pegs and right here. Pretty sure it's a ball. The legs, you know, right here, ball pegs, ball pegs. We got the up and down joints, so you could kick that high. It's a single jointed knee. It's pretty good because it ain't even has. It's got details in here too, like the creases on the. Or the pants, which is pretty good, right here. Not, not really much, but still, it blends in really nice. And like I said, oof, broke the toe. There we go. Well, he's got a nice. Damn, we broke it again. But we got a nice toe, and it does ankle. You know, he's got an ankle rocker. Well, not really an ankle rocker. You know, it's like, it's like those Spider-Man feet. Plug it in. You have to move it all around. And yeah. Goes back, goes forward, knees. He is really well articulated. Really, really well, well articulated. Really good Joker. Real fantastic Joker. All right, so now let's get into the accessories. The accessories. We will talk about those right now. Now here are the accessories that the figure comes with, including the Mafex stand. Because every Mafex has a stand included. But besides the stand, this is it. This is all you get with this Joker figure, which is kind of a kind of a gut punch because it does not come with the gun. I don't even know if I should focus on that, but it doesn't come with the gun with the signature bang on it. I mean, in the in the Hush comics, when Batman finds Joker next to his best friend, he's holding a gun. With these hands right here. These are the hands that are supposed to hold the gun that this figure was supposed to come with. But ah, for some reason, DC is doing some no gun thing that... Are you serious? Ah! Ah, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Kind of... It might be... It might. Not really for me, but for some people, this might be a deal breaker because I mean, Joker. I mean, yeah, he's he's not known for guns, but I mean, if it's a gun with the bang on it, or Tommy guns, or you know, stuff like that, it's the Joker. You know, he had a knife, it's fine and all, but I mean, ah, you know, these censorship on these figures, man. They're they're they're. I mean, they're for fifteen and up. You know, and not a lot of 15 year olds could get these kind of figures because of these prices. I mean, come on now. They're not, this, this is meant for a specific target target audience. Hush, comics, uh, the comic book, you know. Just give us the guns. <laughs> give us the accessories, man. Like, that go with these figures. Stop censoring things. For one, these are not for children. For 15 and up, <laughs> which what 15 is like what the new young adult age? I doubt it, but still, like, come on now, come on now. But that's it, that's all you get. You get an additional head with it's a really nice head, you know. You can zoom in. This head right here is really nice, it's him, you know, wide open and laughing. And that's how you do it, not what they did with the carnage. Come on now. <laughs> It was just a solid piece right there, and then the filling the the void that that wasn't cool. This is how you do a, a screaming face. There you go. Ah, Matrix. Sometimes you do good, and some other times it's just it's like what's going on. All right, and then we get we have a lot of hands. You know, we get two. Uh, and yeah, these things are great. These uh these little plastic things for the the for the hands. So that way. No more breaking pegs because the peg is too tight, or the the hole is too tight. 
So yeah, we get two fisted hands. We get uh, two two relaxed hands and a and two of the knife holding hand. Right, not for guns. We get the two flipping hands. Right, or the gun holding hand because that's what this is for. Okay, here's the thing. My I have to hold mine with a uh, with sticky tech because this gun this gun is from the amazing Yamaguchi uh, Joker. Uh, he's got two guns. He's got one without the bang and one with the bang. Uh, but yeah, as you see, it will not hold. It will not hold. So if you do decide to do this, get some sticky tack. Bam. You know, it'll hold it. You know, nice. And like, it doesn't mess up the the hand or anything like that, or the gun. You know, the stickiness comes off when you just rub. You know. Yeah. So there you go with that. So yeah, the flipping gun. Come on, what's the I, I know guns. We got two pointing finger hands. Pretty nice. Uh, again with the knife, open palms. Yeah. Standard hands. Nothing too crazy. I mean, it's the Joker. We didn't even get a crowbar. Obviously, in the I don't think. Yeah, he doesn't. In the Hush comic, Batman Hush comic. I mean, he's seen with the gun and with the knife, and that's about it. He gets his. He gets his hand. He, he he gets beaten up by Batman brutally. Spoilers, uh, and yeah, no crowbar. But I mean, if you're not gonna give us the gun, give us a crowbar. Come on. All right, on to comparison. Size comparison with these other Mayfix figures. Joker is pretty tall. So that's how much he stands next to Spider-Man. Spider-Man was yeah, he's standing straight. He's just looking up. So you know, he's a bit. Joker's a tad taller you know taller than me joker is a tall character so that's almost accurate you know goku sh i don't know if their sizing is you know taller than, than goku <laughs> and saitama and here he is next to the hush batman which they look great together you know they're they're there it is this they they look great that that is that is beautiful that is very nice this if you got Batman, I mean, uh, you gotta get Joker. Even if you skip him and you go for the amazing Yamaguchi Joker, which is well, well worth it because he comes with a crowbar, he comes with two Tommy guns, he comes with the gun, you know, I think a knife? He comes with a cane! I mean, come on now! The uh, I would highly recommend him. May do a video on him later. He has a lot of accessories. This one's short because of the shortness of accessories. But if you do have him, you could give him the gun like like I had him earlier. It, it looks really nice. It looks complete. Some people could be a pass or or a grab. I mean, like I said, if you have the Hush Batman, might as well get him. But at the same time, if you want to get like a better Joker to go with your Hush Batman, I recommend the Amazing Yamaguchi one. Uh, other than that, yeah, the these two. Figures, these two, the Gen Joker, Joker is a. I you know normally I say highly recommend. This is like the first figure that I would say, uh, like it, it it's fan like if you're a fan of the Joker and you like the Joker, you're a completion completionist of Joker figures, you know you get it. You know if you got the Hush Batman like I said. To match it, you know, instead of mixing jokers, you get it, you know. But I mean, there you go. Everyone said different. I got it. I love Joker, so it was a it was a must. Like, as soon as Hush Batman came out, it was like a guarantee that they were gonna make Joker. And then Harley Quinn's coming out. That's gonna be cool. Nightwing. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is the review of the Mayfex Joker. Please leave a like, comment, and I'll see you on the next one. And whether it be action figure reviews, video games, hot sauce challenges. It's a thing that I'm doing now on my channel. <laughs> Not for long. But yeah. And uh, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.